Each disorder uh, uh, caused uh, by a deficit of activity of a, a specific enzyme required for catabolism of uh, glycosaminoglycans. This leads to storage uh, of uh, glycosaminoglycans uh, within lysosomes, cells, and outside the cells. Dermatin sulfate storage is connected uh, with connective tissue damage. And heparin sulfate uh, is connected with central nervous system damage. And uh, when we have a situation with, when dermatin sulfate and heparin sulfate are stored together, so we will have NPS 1, 2, uh, and 7, and neuronopathic form uh, these uh, three NPSs with neuronopathic sub. Uh, subphenotype. It was challenging to say what is the earliest or early signs common in NPS 1, uh, 2, and 3. These five uh, points I found are observed in all uh, neuropathic forms. To be honest, not only in NPS, but uh, this is a cognitive impairment, attention deficit, uh, increased activity, and sleep disturbances and behavioral difficulties. Of course, there are some differences uh, uh, at the age of onset uh, among type 1, 2, and 3 between the severe and attenuated uh, forms. Uh, I would like to focus more on uh, behavioral disturbance. How it is in MPS2? It means that if you see in, in MPS2 patient uh, Earliest you see neurological or behavioral problems in a patient with NPS2, you can be sure that it will be more severe form of NPS2. This is interesting uh, data done by Holt. He measured six parameters in NPS2 patients, like cognitive development, adaptive behavior, uh, receptive language, expressive language, gross motor, and fine motor. Looking at a glance, you can see that uh, for all these uh, parameters around the age three and five, there is an evident decline of their uh, development. From host data, uh, we can say that cognitive uh, disturbance is noted quite early, at the age of two or uh, uh, age of three. Uh, and hyperactivity is on the second place, looking on this, on this ranking, and uh, could be observed uh, uh, quite early, around the first uh, year of life. Another problems which can uh, interfere the normal development and normal behavior. It is communicated hydrocephalus, common in MPS 1, 2, uh, 3, and 6. It uh, could be associated with increased intracranial pressure uh, and uh, uh, may contribute to cognitive de deterioration or behavioral changes like headache, uh, vision dis disturbances or others, but this is slowly progressing and this is now the main uh, aspect uh, influencing the uh, behavioral aspect. Here uh, there is a very nice uh, and very informative picture from Manara publication. This is a, a atrophy uh, communicating hydrocephalus and market CSF space in uh, sub arachnoid space in ventricular and in both. And another from the same author, a similar very nice set of pictures showing the uh, development uh, of hydrocephalus and cerebrospinal fluid uh, subarachnoidal in the one girl with type uh, 2, done at the five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10 years. Uh, you can see the progressing uh, changes in central nervous system. This was mentioned uh, before uh, about the spinal cord compression. This is the uh, sign or symptom we can uh, meet in uh, NPS 1, 2, 4, and 6. Uh, and you can see on this picture that there is a narrowing of, uh, of the space, especially at the uh, Atlanto axial joints. Uh, with all consequences in the clinical uh, picture. 
The earliest compliance of patients with upper cervical compression include loss of endurance and diminished uh, walking distance, uh, some gait uh, instability, but it's also the very slowly uh, developed uh, symptoms. Expressed more severe in lower extremities. But also you can observe the other uh, symptoms, neurologically like superficial sensor loss, uh, uh, muscle weakness, clumsiness, and so on. But these symptoms progress also uh, quite slowly. Hearing loss is also quite a common problem. Still, we don't know uh, uh, what is the main if it is a purely sensorineural hearing loss or conductive. Uh, we don't know which part is the most important, but I think that it could depend on the type of, of, of the disease and the given patient. Italian studies showed that 75% uh, of uh, all these MPSs together present hearing uh, loss. And from host data in NPS2, we can see that there is 67% uh, of all patients uh, present the hearing loss, which is important important, of course, in their cognitive development and in general uh, uh, social and everyday functioning. Carpal tunnel syndrome is also quite often in, uh, in severe form of uh, uh, NPSs 1, 2, and 6, where dermatin sulfate storage it, plays its important role. Seizures. I would like to emphasize that seizures are not the earliest symptom in uh, NPS. Uh, why I put this information? To emphasize that it is not the earliest or early symptom in uh, NPSs. Seizures are common in older patients with NPS 3, with NPS 2, but in a more advanced stage uh, of the disease. Summary is uh, that you know very well that neurologic complications are common in NPSs. The participation of a pediatric neurologist uh, who must be involved in this uh, set of characteristic symptoms, neurological symptoms in NPSs, is absolutely necessary.